to cheer for the Red Cross, for the wonderful... My fondness for the Red Cross goes back to World War II. My younger brother and I were working and uh, we went to town for lunch, sitting there eating and her and some other kids from school drove up, pulled up out there and I suppose to get some gas, I don't remember. And I could see from I could see her from her waist down. All I could see was her legs really. And I liked the looks of the legs. So uh, he introduced me to her, and here we are, 60-some years later. So 65 years later. It'll be 65 May well, the 17th of next year. One of the first men has been over 65 years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Think. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Went to Camp Dodge, Iowa. Spent three or four or five days up there, and I learned very early you don't volunteer for anything in the Army. Tail gunner, yes, I was a tail gunner. Tail gunner on the B 17. One o'clock high, they're coming around. Watch. The plane I was in was the last one out of Italy that day. We were tail end Charlie. We were jumped by, they said, I don't know, 250, 300 German fighter planes of all kinds. And uh, they shot our complete uh, squadron down. B-17 out of control at 3 o'clock. That was a tail gunner, and I hit, was hitting both arms. When you guys get out of that plane, bail out. Knocked out of the tail up beside the tail wheel, right beside my parachute. There's a tail gunner coming out. And I stuck my left thumb in the D-ring of my plane and parachute and rolled out, and that's the last I remember until I come to just, oh, I don't know, 500 to 1,000 feet above the ground. I landed a big grove of pine trees, and down below, two Germans, soldiers, and four civilians. My dad brought the telegram to me. Report just received through the International Red Cross states that your husband, Staff Sergeant Ralph F. Edwards, is a prisoner of war of the German government. I, I didn't realize it until his mail started coming back. And every day I'd go down to the mail and I'd receive one of my letters back and stamped on it would say, missing in action. Because when I got to Stalag 17B, I was so emaciated and so hungry, and when I got there, the very first thing they'd done was uh, gave me a Red Cross parcel. Everybody over there, we always looked forward to Red Cross parcel day, and there was uh, almost 5,000 of us in this camp. So you know, it took a lot of parcels. Now, if it hadn't been for Red Cross, I am positive that none of this would have ever happened, because uh, I think they would have plowed me under over there. I really do. I firmly believe that they would have buried me overseas. Or ship my dead body home, one or the other, because I'd have starved to death, I'm sure. I honestly didn't think he would be coming back. I fooled her. Very fortunate. And then we, after we got home and got our lives halfway settled, we had a couple of children. And then we raised another boy later on in life. So we now have the three kids and their spouses and their families. I don't know of a guy that was in this POW camp that I was in over there that, that is, to this day, if he's got any, any feelings at all, is not grateful to the Red Cross for what they did. But I said, they got some money from me. And they'll keep on getting money from me too, as long as I've got it. There would be no Ralph without the Red Cross. Ha, ha, ha.